data binding is an important process in Angular, and so it's the process or the mechanism used for pushing or pulling data depending on which direction the data is being uh, sent. So Angular supports both one-way and two-way data binding. So in two-way data binding, data is always bidirectional. That means data can start from the source out to the, out to the view, back to the source, or if you want to say from the view to the source, back to the view, however you say, it's still going to be the same thing. So let's again review this Angular view model here, and the dining data binding events occurs right in the module between the template and components. So in two-way data binding, data property value flows from the component to the input box. This is the property binding. And then the users make any changes to the input box and the data flows back to the component and then resetting their property to the latest value, whatever that value is, via this event binding. So two-way data binding combines the property and the event binding into a single notation and this is, this is achieved in Angular using a very special directive called ng-model. So let's go and take a look in the code. Okay, so here we are on the IDE. I'm going to go to the front again, open my terminal, and run the app. And while, that, while that's running, let's go open the SRC folder into the app and open the app component HTML, that's the view, and then the source app component.ts. Okay, so uh, that's running, and we want to make sure the app is running, so let's go to the browser and uh, view the output. So over here, oops. Okay, so in the view, I'm going to go to the localhost 4200, and this is the previous one, so as you can see, it's working just before. All right, so let's go to the code, and let me close the terminal. All right, so two-way data binding, again, remember, is coming from the uh, source out to the view into an input box, input tag, and then from the input tag back to the source again. Okay, so that whole loop cycle there. So we can uh, we can just do this here in this example using this same input here, the message here. As you can see, this the way we did here is almost kind of like a two-way binding, uh, except it's uh, it is done a different way, right? because we invoke a function called click me and we send a message uh, uh, in this text field, the value back to a function, a function goes into uh, and then implement or actually update the message down here. We update the message and then this message is going out the source direction to the view again and being displayed back in here. So in a way, is doing this two-way data binding, but that's not how it's done. So we're going to modify this a little bit. So now instead of doing the uh, key up event, we're going to bind this to a um, a, a property called. Um, so you see the property usually we have the value property, right? Equals to the actual message itself. This is the actual data field, but then you. You do this separately later when we learn about forms, but for two-way data binding, you will wrap this inside the value here, replace that with a event called ng model. This is a special directive in Angular. So this is also known as a banana operator because it looks like a banana, I guess. Um, but this is how two-way data binding works. You bind to an input type of tag, either input a select uh, or a, um, a text area, all right? And if you mouse over this, it tells you it says something about cannot bind to unknown property. Now, in order for this to work, because usually this ng model it usually works with forms, web forms, we have to go and import a special module called forms module. So let's go and open the app module TS here, and we need to import a module called forms module. So in here, forms module, and we're going to import that from the Angular um, Angular form slash uh, slash forms. Okay, we need to import that there, and so this module need to be added to the ng module as well, and to this uh, uh, metadata. So in the imports here, this imports uh, in all the modules. This declaration imports all the component. All right, so you can see that all the modules, you can see the browser module is put in here, the app module, a routing module is put in here, the 
components are put in the declarations. That's just how it's done. So this is a module. So we're going to add it to the list here. Put a comma and add the forms module there and then save this file and then we can close it now. So it goes away and now it's working. So this time we're, it, it should work just like before uh, flawlessly. Um, you can save that now and go back to the browser. And you can see if I type in here, it worked just like before, right? No problem, because the data now flows from this input box to the source to a variable called message. And the message is then sent back out to display in the view here so we can see. But really what's happening behind the scene is that from this input box directly to the variable welcome in the back view has a direct connection that we just don't see it. So, um, but really it, it comes back right out here because we it's hard to see that, so you, you output that so you can see here. But uh, just to show you that it does work that way, uh, let's go and modify this a little bit. Okay, notice when we when we when we tie this to the message, this is similar to how I did up here, right? We did a one-way binding. We bind to the style, but then the variable is green, and the green data is interpolated into this location. Same thing here. If you take out the ng model, then it's like the value, right? And we bind the value to the, it looks like this, right? You bind the value just like this, and the message goes right here, okay? And and that's what it what that's what it looks like. So if I do like that, if I go back to the source, and let's just say the initial message was uh, hi there, like that. If you save that and go to the view, you see the message is right here. This is the initial data, so we know that it's flowing from the source to the view. And then the other way around going from the view to the source is by removing this value and replace that with an event called ng model, this Angular model. And that's how data goes to an event, okay, directly from this variable, uh, this uh, view, and then out back to the source and then come back, comes back out. So you have this same. Uh, uh, you know, a behavior we saw earlier with the click function, but this time you don't need the click function because it does it automatically. And so just to see that how this works, really, we I just showed you, but that we can change this click event to say something like, uh, uh, hi there, okay? So when I click on this event, uh, this function, it's going to, uh, what happened here? Uh, yeah, so, um, did I do something wrong here? Um, not sure. Okay, so back in here, we can pass the value back in here. I'm going to change the value to whatever it was to a message called hi there. Well, I have the hi there. Let's let's remove this message back to blank. Okay. And uh, I'm not sure what this message shows up here. Did I do something correctly? Oh, these, oh double quotes here. All right. Um, no. In here is the single quote. Let's put a single quote in here. Okay, too many quotes here. All right, so when I load this, I should get nothing in the message box. When I click the button, it's going to fill that message with the word hi there because I, I, I click the function and the function calls and then it changes the message to the word hi there and then the hi there message is tied to the model here and also the output. So you can see that changes, right? So back in the view, here again, if I click on click me, you see that the message goes right there. If I make some changes here, uh, this is now two-way binding. If I change it back, you see that it changes back. So it just shows that uh, one-way binding and two-way binding works in Angular. So that's simply it, how you can uh, use data binding in Angular for two-way two -way is using the banana operator. And one way is using the, either you do it this way using this attribute, you bind to the attribute, or you can use the color bases like this.